Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. Upgrading the shift knob or shift handle on your Mustang has been a popular modification for years and the S550 Mustang is no different. If you have a manual transmission Mustang, there's hundreds of options for custom shift collars and shift knobs to really set your car apart, but up until now there's been no options for the automatic. Hearst saw the need for an automatic custom shifter and came up with this pistol grip shift knob that will fit your 2015 through 2017 automatic Mustang. Today we're going to install it on this 2015 Mustang EcoBoost. Hearst has been in the shifter game since the very beginning and the pistol grip is one of the more iconic designs. It's made of black anodized billet with a chrome base and it's going to be a direct replacement for the factory shift knob on all 2015 through 2017 automatic Mustangs. For this installation, let a plastic pry bar, small Phillips head screwdriver, cutters, and a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. Now we'll obviously begin the installation by removing the factory pieces. Now what happens here is the handle and boot are going to be one piece. We're due first, got to remove this trim ring, get it up out of the way so we can unbolt it and remove it from the car. The trim ring can be a little bit tricky. We'll start by removing this little pocket up front here. Get a grip on it, pull up and put that out of the way. Now you kind of lift up on the front. It's a small pry bar, just carefully pop them out. Start the front, just work your way back. Once the plate's up, you want to separate the harness that powers the lights for the shifter. So little plug right here, let the push in, and it can allow you to pull this higher up. And what we need to do now is move the shifter out of park and back into gear so we can get it off. So what I'm going to do is hit the push button start first. Don't have your foot on the brake just yet. Start it up, then push the brake in, and put it back into gear. If you have your foot on the brake, obviously the car is going to start, which we don't want. We want to start it with the car off, we want to be able to push the shifter back. Now the last part of the removal process, there's two Phillips head screws, one here and one down here. We got to remove these and then we can remove the factory handle. If you're very small, just be very careful, you don't want to drop them down in the transmission. And you can slide this off. With the factory shift handle on the tail, there's a little bit of disassembly you have to do. We have to separate the shifter from the boot. To do that, just hold the boot here, give it a little bit of a push. There's two little clips in it will disengage, put the factory shift handle aside. We're going to reuse everything here except for this collar. Now the collar is glued in, so you do have to separate it. What you kind of want to do, sort of work your fingers around the outside edge and squeeze this together. It comes off very, very easily. And that can be discarded. Now we're going to begin assembly of our Hurst shift handle. What you want to do is make sure the orientation is correct. With the pistol grip the face forward towards park. I'm going to push it all the way through down like that. Once that's seated, there's a little lip in there. I'm going to take this supplied zip tie. Make sure it's around the boot and down in that channel and then tighten it up. There we go, it's ready for installation. First, provide new hardware to hold their handle to the factory shifter. You just slide this down over here. And then line up the holes. I'm bring the plate back down here. Make sure you don't forget to plug it in. Take the shifter back in park. Now reinstall the chrome trim. And our pocket up front. And your installation's finished.
Once you have the shifter installed, make sure it works like it's supposed to. It goes through all the gears. And again, make sure you have to release the trigger. If it is loose, for whatever reason this trigger is dead and it won't come out of park or it comes out of park without pulling the trigger, go back through, just make sure it's pushed all the way down and screwed in properly. The installation overall is pretty straightforward. Looks great in the car, it's taking no more than about an hour to install. We'll be back on the road in no time.